The AMR23, Aston Martin's third Formula 1 car since the renowned British company returned to the sport in 2021, was unveiled on Monday at their new Silverstone headquarters. This year, Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso, a recruit from Alpine, will be driving the vehicle. Hello and welcome back F1 Fanatics! In today's video, we will discuss the aggressive AMR23 revealed by Aston Martin. You will also get some new updates about the team. So, please fasten your seatbelts and let's get started. 2022 was referred to as the teething and growing season for Aston Martin. Aston's new hires were still trying to remember each other's names. And their brand new, state-of-the-art factory was still being built, so they couldn't fully capitalize on the new rules, which is always a significant opportunity for teams on the rise. What we witnessed last season accurately reflects Aston's current position as a team with great potential and resources that is still going through growing pains. It was a low-key one for them, and the team maintained 7th place in the standings, with Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll earning P6 in Azerbaijan and Japan respectively. Vettel retired from Formula 1, and Fernando Alonso, a fellow champion, was quickly signed to take his place in 2023. After McLaren's debut, Aston Martin used their brand new Silverstone headquarters to reveal the AMR23, which was dressed in the iconic racing green for which the wealthy British manufacturer is known. The team described the AMR23 as a considerable evolution of the AMR22 from the previous year, which helped them tie Alfa Romeo on points but finish 7th in the Constructors' Championship. According to Aston Martin, the front wing has been heavily revised, and the side pods and engine cover have also been updated. In addition, the roll hoop inlet has also been enlarged. On February 15, the AMR23 will get to the track for a day of filming at Silverstone. Stroll will drive the vehicle in the morning and Alonso will take over in the afternoon. Next, we will discuss Fernando and Stroll's pairing but before we go on, let's drive quickly and safely to the subscribe and like button, so you become the first always to get the latest F1 news. When Alonso turned down an Alpine contract in the summer to join the revamping Aston Martin team, he shocked the driver's market. Given Alonso's advanced age and position as F1's elder statesman, the decision baffled many. However, this year's team has significantly improved with the addition of Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll. The Spaniard expressed the hope that the AMR23 would provide a solid foundation for the group to apply pressure on the top three teams. Alonso was also still optimistic about his choice and the prospects for Aston Martin on Monday. This is because of the significant investments made by Aston Martin and Lawrence Stroll, the upgraded infrastructure, and the influx of talent led by the hiring of new technical director Dan Fallows from Red Bull. New technical director Dan Fallows said, The design team was adamant that it wanted to approach these regulations without compromise. Sitting back and being conservative won't help us move up the grid and start competing with the teams at the front. The AMR23 is a significant improvement over the car we developed in the second half of 2022 and we made changes to all of its essential components. The solutions that would provide us with the best performance are optimized and they embody the shared vision we have embraced and developed over the past few months. Right now, our primary attention must be on delivering an ambitious yet effective program of updates for the opening race and the rest of the season. Aston Martin, founded by teams that regularly outperform their peers, now has the resources and infrastructure necessary to compete with any of the top F1 drivers. However, they are aware that their project might not take off until the arrival of a wind tunnel in 2025. Championships are undoubtedly the long-term objective, but for the time being, Aston Martin is concentrating on moving up to the front of the midfield, given that they came in 4th place last year, over 100 points behind Alpine. That is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about Alonso and Stroll's pair? Would the team do better this season? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.